Hello, welcome to Codeignited Tutorials. In this video, we focus how to uh, set up few settings which are really important to know in Codeignited. The first setting that you should go through is the base URL in Codeignited. So there you have a specific attribute named base URL and see this is one which is representing my local root URL and the location is there in application config directory and config.php file it is <coughs> if it is a real time implementation you need to configure your domain name instead of localhost slash coordinator uh, which looks like uh, which is looking like uh, my example we have already got Codeignator installation so that I am uh, trying to focus few settings in my application to deal with my regular operations with Codeignator. See this article is trying to explain few more settings even like database uh, how to incorporate database in Codeignator as well as how to auto load certain options like views, models, uh, even if you want uh, some type of libraries like session, database, email, etc. There we have so many options in Codeignator in the form of library classes. We will see what are library classes and how to implement them in our next videos. But there are various facilities available in Codeignator so that you should know all these things step by step to create a web application uh, in the form of MVC structure in Codeignator. Now I just want to show you the process to change your base URL settings in Codeignator. It's very simple you just try to access your application directory and there you have config directory again there is a file name the name of this file is config.php see you have different type of collection attributes uh, each and every attribute is representing a type of specification as well as I mean uh, a type of task here there is an attribute called base URL you just try to understand uh, the procedure how to or change apply our configuration settings say you just try to leave this uh, dialog box which is coming up every time in my system localhost and our root folder name is codeignator codeignator right and you have also one more option here you can set an index space for your application instead of index.php if you want you can go for some other uh, but I don't want to use uh, this index space attribute I just want to go with uh, config base URL attribute see if you want uh, you can also uh, go for some subdirectory uh, provided you have a requirement to place it in your subdirectories you can also mention here your subdirectory path but in general if it is a real implementation what we do is instead of localhost we will go for php tutorials club slash something like this understood see we are in local environment the reason I'm trying to mention my local root path uh, at the same time uh, you have some other options uh, like default language and uh, cache set options understood and some other options are also available but we no need to focus each and everything in the context which are by default incorporated with coordinator environment understood see this is the way you can go with base URL attribute which is playing really a vital role in our implementation uh, to call various uh, aspects in implementation settings at the same time there you have one more file called database.php see this is my database.php file 
uh, which is again located in config directory understood and in this you have the settings approach there you can set host name localhost as well as uh, database something like root if you have any password you can also set some password and uh, you can setting something like this your D T db name and there you have a db driver by default of course now we used to deal with mysql i instead of mysql most of the times mysql uh, mysql i is an improved version of mysql so that i suggest you to go with mysql i of course if you want you can change it to mysql but you know that uh, there we have various deprecated methods in mysql where the latest versions of php doesn't support mysql oriented functions so that it's better you keep on mysql i you can also go for some other db drivers if you want but i deal with mysql i in this uh, session so that i leave it i don't want to disturb it and also you have one more facility what is that facility means you can go for see the db attribute by default is something like this default if i want i can go for one more db attribute for development and this is for testing what i am saying that is you can go for different database settings in same application uh, uh, it's for testing and if you want to see you just try to go for one more uh, it's for production say there we have different approaches uh, when establishing databases you have default uh, you can mention some other like development, testing or something like that. You know that the life cycle of uh, application development uh, at the time of development you go with uh, your individual database uh, when you give it to testing department you can go for another database for that uh, without disturbing your existing database you can give all rights to uh, perform various actions against your application finally we will deliver it to client at that time you should maintain a different database uh, if you want the reason you can go for one more but see the database can be activated by applying name here for example uh, if you want production database to be activated you just try to mention active group as production if you want uh, the application in testing mode then you can mention our attribute name like testing means you have different database settings but out of these database settings you have a facility to use a particular database setting while uh, in implementation I think you got this point uh, you have a facility in Codeignator uh, to change the databases uh, from time to time situation to situation that is the facility uh, available in this db settings options of codeignator all these things are available in database.php file understood and one more is there that autoload.php which gives you some helpers like form uh, form helpers i mean to say that uh, you want to uh, go with some uh, form controls in HTML uh, you want to process some URL redirections all those things can be incorporated with the help of this autoload helper attribute and there you have some config attributes language attributes you can also incorporate models sometimes I mean uh, we'll discuss all these concepts in our next video uh, what I mean to say that once you have created a model you want that model in each and every application directly you can integrate that model in autoload.php whenever you try to invoke your controller or view automatically the model will be called along with the action you don't need to call this model in each and every action uh, in your implementation
there you have a facility to set up by default which models have to be incorporated along with invocation but the situation is there to discuss still and we'll be going with all these things step by step but you just try to focus the main configuration settings that you need to focus in code igniter is config.php file the first thing that you need to know the way to incorporate base underscore url attribute and next you should know how to change database settings there you have a file called database.php and this is all about autoload.php we use it very regular step by step that you need to keep an eye uh, uh, to understand few configuration settings which are very frequent in our uh, code igniter implementation I think this video gives you an idea to understand where to exactly uh, change our configuration settings in order to use code igniter framework Thank you. Thank you very much. Watch my next video uh, to learn more about Code Igniter.